it is very hard to get the right dose of drug into the brain. Some of you might be familiar with something called the blood-brain barrier. In the semipermeable membrane, that makes your brain look like Fort Knox. Specialized cells reinforce the blood vessels that lead into your brain, so that your brain is always protected from pathogens and other foreign invaders that are moving through your blood. Only very specific molecules, ones that the brain deems safe, can enter. Everything else gets bounced like your drunk friend on a night out. Pharmaceuticals that are designed to help the brain are among this long list of people who are not on the guest list. The blood-brain barrier prevents most of them from even entering the lobby of the brain, let alone getting to those very deep VIP areas that are associated with severe Huntington's symptoms. Now, there are a few ways that scientists can reliably cross the blood-brain barrier, but they're usually reserved for very niche circumstances. Here's where we finally get to talk about the virus, because it is essential for overcoming these hurdles. What's up, nerds?